when you accept the route of taking consistent daily action to improve your life many times uh, if you're a perfectionist like me uh, the point where you start to kind of shake and doubt yourself is the point where it gets boring <laughs> so when you start something new it doesn't matter if you take a lot of action or even a bit of action when you get a result that is greater than zero for example you make your first you know couple of videos or you start working out a bit uh, even a bit of meditation you suddenly get really really um, excited by the results you become you know enthusiastic and, and full of hope uh, it's the same with uh, every time you get like a surge of, of improvement so for example you make videos and then suddenly you'll get like one video spike and make a lot of you know get a lot of views or you might have a really good workout where you just really you know go much further than you've uh, gotten in terms of weights or, or intensity uh, you know same with every area of life but what's interspersed between these periods of uh, you know the initial high as well as the you know the occasional highs that you also get are periods of um, boredom if I'll be honest just periods of uh, nothing really happening uh, steady progress sometimes slow sometimes fast but you know just just nothing you know you go to the gym it's a good workout you know you enjoy it you you know it's nice but you maybe improve your weight by a bit but nothing more then you know maybe the videos of course I'm talking about myself here you know maybe you know the videos get a bit more views every time a bit more comments everything is slowly growing nothing too exciting same with meditation same with your finances you know everything is just kind of slowly growing but at this point most people freak out <laughs> at this at this point most people are like what the fuck this is not growing it's not fast oh no it's not happening i'm wasting my time what the fuck blah, 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 blah. And then they just go crazy and they quit they they just quit on it and they they decide that the activity is wrong the problem is the activity but these are people are junkies you know and I used to be a junkie like that I would only do something until I stopped seeing massive results in it like I would take I would start something new I would take massive massive action on it see massive results immediately you know probably for the first like two months crazy progress you know crazy excitement everything is new keep improving keep learning but then I I reach a plateau you know the glass wall the glass ceiling the, the first time that basically that shit stops moving that shit stops improving at least you know at the rate that it was improving and you know what sometimes you might even see a, a, a and going back you know a, a decline in stats so suddenly let's say you, you know you get a lot of views suddenly you get less views than you got before this happened to me for example when I uh, started uploading the five videos a day you know initially it was super exciting and then uh, all of a sudden uh, people started unsubscribing in crazy amounts you know relative to the size of the channel I got I think about 20 maybe 25 30 unsubscribes in about a week or so <laughs> uh, maybe a week maybe a week and a half but yeah it was it wasn't scary because I knew how this show works but I mean I could see how somebody else would have really you know oh no people were right it's, it's too much videos no people are running away and uh, now you can see how, how well the strategy is working you know how many just how many views I'm getting because of it basically we you know one video of mine would have gotten let's say on average a hundred views and because I do five videos a day instead of getting a hundred views I get you know 50 views per video but I, get, I do five videos so it's so you do five times the effort but you get two and a half times the 
amount of results. So then it's a question of how much do you want the results? And I do, <laughs> badly. So um, you really have to not freak out during those, those dips or during those plateaus where things just stop moving. Because if you stop and move on to the next thing, the problem is you're gonna be great at nothing. You're gonna be good at many things, but great at nothing. And all the celebrities and you know the masters and the really cool people, you know, if you look at big, big companies, usually it took them a couple of years of slow growth. Sometimes even not even seeing growth, just slow nothing before it picked up. Or sometimes you see, you know, somebody who built up an amazing body. It wasn't like a jump up and it also wasn't steady up. It was more like, you know, going up slowly and then a, a surge and then going up slowly and then a surge. So the reason I keep doing it, the reason I keep pumping videos, working out, meditating, writing, reading, just keep doing everything is because if you keep doing it, if you stay humble and, and committed and keep doing it, then once in a while, you're going to get a surge. So, you know, in meditation, this might look like an amazing meditation where your life changes and suddenly you get this profound realization or deeper level of, of relaxation. <laughs> And knowingness um, if it's on YouTube then you might make a video that gets you a shitload of new viewers maybe a partnership maybe a new video style maybe whatever it could you know it could be whatever uh, but that's pretty much how it looks um, so yeah it's the same with all areas of life basically and that's what I really like about it and that's why I'm so you know excited from the mundane you know because success is 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 boring success is really really boring <laughs> it's not I mean it's exciting at times but it's really boring and most of the times and especially you know because you get used to the intensity so even if you get to a higher level of production uh, it's going to get boring because you're just going to get used to it. So, you know, maybe you were making, um, you know, $2,000 a month in the past and now you start making 10000 You know, it's amazing. It's exciting. But then you kind of get used to it and uh, it's not exciting anymore. <laughs> um, and that's, by the way, one of the reasons why it's so imperative that you actually maintain your consistency and keep going because... Let's say that you did get to 10,000 in income or let's say even 100,000 and then you kind of quit on your business. Or let's say that you built an amazing body and then you kind of quit or, you know, built an amazing level of uh, clarity. Uh, if you quit, then not only um, do you have to build it back up again, you know, it, it is faster, granted, because you're not going to make the same mistakes. And there is sort of like a muscle memory where you kind of relearn what you already know. But, but the problem is you're not going to get these highs anymore. So if you're used to getting, you know, 50000 a month and you're back to five or 2000 and believe me, there's many, many cases like that. And now you have to build it back up. Well, until you get to 50 again, uh, it's not going to be exciting. Even when it surges up, it's not going to be like, oh my God, you know, it surged. It's just going to be like, Okay, I got to 20. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, be consistent. Uh, don't worry about the dips. Don't worry about the boring parts. It's all part of success. It, success is 90% boring and 10% exciting, you know, good or bad. You know, 10% amazing and 10% awful. Um, you know, just keep going at it and you're going to be great. It's really all about consistency. Like people tell me, you know, how do I know that this will work? You know, that if you just apply consistency, it will work. I ask them, well, you know, you've tried everything else. Um, you know, what? tell me one thing that you were great at that you didn't apply consistency to. Or on the other hand, uh, find me somebody who's great at something, like not naturally born, but 
built up something and you know didn't have consistency so so yeah just just trust the process just be consistent practice learn you know get better and better and better um if you doubt yourself like oh i'm not improving fast enough stuff like that that's part of the consistency by the way like that's part of the process is feeling like you're not getting you know improving fast enough but instead of being like oh i'm not improving fast enough and quitting you should be like oh i'm not improving fast enough and then let that negative energy kind of attract you to the right sources where you can uh, learn the thing you you need or get the motivation so just trust the process be fucking consistent choose your craft do it every day um you know it's gonna be a couple of years of not too many things happening but if you just stay consistent on it then by the third or fourth year big things are going to start happening thanks for watching uh please subscribe and see you soon